Hello students of class 11. Today I am here to just tell you in the branch of physics that is mechanics about the concept of graph and two types of graph position time graph and velocity time graph. Before starting position time graph or velocity time graph, for the graph I want to make you something clear. If anybody asks you what is graph, so your answer should be it is a pictorial arrangement. It is a pictorial arrangement. With the help of that arrangement, you are able to tell about any event. Like if any cricket match is going on, you can plot the graph between ball, that means over, and the run. If any your career record, your progress record graph is there, you can write, you, you should have your class along with the year and you can indicate in that particular class and year the variation of your percentage. So the two important thing here during the discussion is coming in front of you to plot the graph you should have some variables and these variables should be located on the axis either on the three axis or if you are having two coordinate system then one variable should be uh, indicated on the x axis and other variable should be indicated on the y axis. Here we are having such type of graph in which two variables are there. The first variable is position, second one is time. In the second type of graph, the first variable is velocity and second is time. So here I am going to discuss you one by one about the two graph, position time graph and velocity time graph. So look here. First of all, I am going to discuss about the position time graph. Now between position and time, you can see these are the two variables. Anyone can be selected to plot on the horizontal line that is x-axis. Anyone can be selected on the vertical line that is y-axis. It depends upon you. But in position time graph, most of the time, time is axis. Time belongs over the x-axis and position belongs over the y axis. It is not clear, make it clear, it is not necessary but most of the time we use such type of case. Position, remember that if position is indicated distance, if position is indicated displacement, then graph will give two different types of physical quantity. If position indicated distance, then with the help of position time graph, you will get the speed. And if position indicated displacement, then with displacement time graph, you will get velocity. You have already studied speed is distance per unit time and velocity is displacement per unit time. Remember this. Where the two axes intersect each other, that is called origin. This is not origin. Let us suppose this is the type of graph. Let us assume this is the type of graph which indicates at a different time, this is time axis, at different time you are getting different position of body. This position is x1, x2, x3, x4, time is t1, t2, t3, t4 and the frame of reference is origin. That means here position is 0 when time is 0. So this is called frame of reference that is origin. Now the question is how we calculate speed or how we calculate velocity. Suppose that this is distance and we are going to calculate speed here. Then what we will do is speed number first. Suppose that question is asked between 0 second to t1 second or 0 to t2 second or you want to calculate 0 to t3 second or you want to calculate 0 to t4 second. Okay, now let's see one by one. When you are calculating a speed from 0 to t1 second, then what? It is distance upon time. So you should have between 0 to t1 how much is the distance? You can you can look here distance is equals to x1 and time is what? t1. So this is now x1 upon t1. Clear? If you are going for 0 to t2, drop perpendicular for here, 
we will get this much gap that is x2 so now this is x2 upon t in the same way x3 upon t3 in the same way x4 upon t4 this is x3 upon t3 this is x4 upon t4 this is suppose t4 let this angle is theta now this is perpendicular this is space this is perpendicular this much is space this is perpendicular this much is space this is perpendicular this much is space means what everywhere perpendicular upon base term is coming everywhere perpendicular upon base term is coming and if you find in trigonometry ratios perpendicular upon base always gives by tan theta tan theta tan theta tan theta that is a speed from position time graph can be calculated by tan theta term in the terms of angle also you can write the formula tan theta this is the speed from position time graph here position is distance if the position is displacement then that will be velocity equals to tan theta remember this so with the help of position time graph in this way you can calculate speed okay now second graph is velocity time graph again two variables velocity and time so it depends upon you on which axis you are taking which variable most of the time on the x axis we suppose always time and on the y axis we always always suppose velocity okay this is origin this is the type of graph in front of you this angle is theta this graph indicates that these are the time distribution like there in that graph and this is the velocity distribution in this way you can locate different velocity just like there this is your frame of reference what indicates when time is zero velocity is zero this indicates the frame of reference that is origin now velocity and time dimensionally if you will see velocity upon time it gives the dimension of acceleration so with the help of velocity time graph you can calculate acceleration that is a suppose that you want acceleration at t3 what is the acceleration at t3 then draw perpendicular here here you are getting velocity axis in front of this line gives the velocity value that is v3 and time axis gives t3 that means v3 upon t3 this is theta so this is perpendicular and this is what base so perpendicular upon base that is tan theta this indicates that if you want to calculate acceleration from velocity tan graph that is always equals to tan theta this tan theta either here or there is also called slope s l o p e slope and we call this is velocity tan graph so this is slope of vt curve and this is position tan graph so this can be written as slope of you are you are calculating speed so you will write distance tan graph if it is velocity then displacement tan graph okay so now this is velocity tan graph you are able to calculate acceleration this is first part of velocity tan graph from velocity tan graph you can also calculate distance as well as displacement question is how we calculate distance and how we calculate displacement look here <coughs> that this is a graph this is time axis this is velocity positive y axis this is velocity towards negative y axis and this is origin and this is the type of graph suppose that a easy example i have taken here now this is time axis somewhere this is time t1 this is time t2 this is 
this time t3 suppose this is velocity v this is if i am making both sides equal this is also v but remember here it is in positive axis and here it is in negative axis now the question is how we calculate distance travel by body for that remember this formula sum of all close figure sum of in fact area of all close figure here how many close figures 1 2 3 this indicates that area of first figure plus area of second figure plus area of third figure if you add all the close figures area we will get distance and for displacement little bit change sum of all close figure above x axis minus sum of all close figure below x axis means above x axis if you will see here only two close figures are coming first and second so we will write area of figure first plus area of figure second this is in one bracket and you will subtract below x axis area that is figure second so this is third figure sorry now minus area of figure third in this way by subtracting the area above x axis and below x axis you will get displacement so in this way with the help of velocity time graph you can calculate three things number first acceleration i have explained second is distance third is displacement and from position time graph if the position is in the terms of distance you can calculate speed if the position is in terms of displacement you can calculate velocity for both the graph either position time or acceleration velocity time the speed or acceleration or velocity will be the slope of that curve okay so just try to understand learn this god bless you